All right, Fox News alert. Friends and family reacting to the, this morning to the news that broke late last night that the man who shot American sniper Chris Kyle and his friend Chad Littlefield dead has been found guilty of murder, not by insanity, of murder. Here to react is retired U.S. Army Ranger and personal friend of Chris Kyle, who wrote a best-selling book called Outlaw Platoon about his stay at war, is uh, Sean Parnell. Sean, your reaction to what came down last night? Well, honestly, I, I was just I was just relieved and grateful that after two years after Chris and Chad passed from this earth, that a guilty verdict uh, was found. And I, I, I just hope and I pray that 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 the families get some peace and resolution from this uh, because they've been dealing and carrying this very heavy burden of the loss of their loved ones and this trial for two years now. And, and it's not gotten any easier for them. Sean, you know, something else is they kept saying, well, he had PTSD, uh, and that's what happens when you go to war. They're starting to, a lot of people on other less educated channels are starting to blame war for this and PTSD for the violence. What's the reality as you know it? Well, I think anybody that comes back from war comes back fundamentally changed, and I think that change, at, at the core of that change, is post-traumatic stress. Anybody can suffer from post-traumatic stress, whether it's combat trauma or being in a car accident. But I think it's important for people to recognize that post-traumatic stress disorder is not a catalyst or a reason for anybody to go out and kill two people. Um, it's not a reason whatsoever. And I think to attribute uh, the murder of Chris Kyle and Chad Littlefield to post-traumatic stress is, is profoundly unfair to the families and to the victims. Uh, and it's, it's also unfair to, to the thousands of veterans that struggle with combat trauma every day who don't commit crimes. Absolutely. So as you look at what's happened with this trial, you also find out and in looking into Ruth's background that his mom knew he was dangerous to himself and to others. He was diagnosed that way. And the Dallas VA stuck him out into the wilderness in two days with a bucket with a basket full of, of meds. What's your reaction to that? Well, I think there's no question uh, anybody that is wired into what's happening with the VA right now knows that we need to fundamentally transform the VA at a very, very basic level and make sure that we're putting the needs of the veterans before the needs of this giant, bloated, calcified bureaucracy that is the VA. And I think Eddie Ray Ruth is a prime example of that. This is a guy that probably should have been in an inpatient facility and not out on his own. And I also think it's important for people to remember that just because the verdict is in in this trial uh, and the case might be closed, uh, the healing process for, for the Littlefield and the Kyle family is still very much happening. And I think we, we just have to make sure that we keep them in our prayers. And the good news is uh, there, it's out there in the, on the big screen, $300 million it's made at the box office already. You and Chris were on the tour together. You talking about your book, him talking about his book. What is your reaction to the public's reaction to the success of American Sniper? Well, uh, look, I mean, it earned over $300 million at the box office. I think, I think the American people want to hear uh, more stories that celebrate selfless service and honor on the battlefield. Now that these wars are coming to a close, uh, it's critically important for Americans to learn sort of what we go through on the battlefield uh, and at home. An American Sniper, the movie, does such a brilliant job at capturing life not only on the right. battlefield, gotcha. but what it's like to be at home. Sean Parnell, always uh, like to hear from you. Thanks so much for your time. Thanks, Brian. Thanks, guys. Service. I appreciate you having me.